I'm Gernot Wagner, a climate economist at Columbia Business School. I keep a close eye on companies that are finding solutions to climate change. When you think of industries causing the most pollution, you probably don't think of the cement industry, but it's a massive polluter. Cement is responsible for 8 to 10% of all greenhouse gas emissions. Leia Ellis, the CEO of a new high-tech cement startup, says she has the solution. So I went to Boston to find out. Today's Portland cement is made in a big rotary kiln, so that is like a rolling tube. And on one end, you put the limestone and the other minerals, and then the other end, you have pulverized coal and oxygen and other fuels, and that other end is around 1,500 degrees Celsius. And so the rocks are getting cooked as they meet this enormous flame. So 50% of cement CO2 emissions is from the limestone emissions, and the other 50% is from the fossil fuel and the combustion needed to heat the raw materials to these extraordinary temperatures to make Portland cement. And what does Sublime do differently? Sublime avoids both those sources of CO2 emissions. So we avoid the limestone emissions because our process does not require limestone, and our process is driven by electrochemistry. Sublime cement isn't made by melting rocks in hot kilns. Instead, Sublime makes cement by electrically charging a pool of chemicals to release calcium from rocks. Calcium is a key ingredient in cement. Now, the standard cement making process is 12,000 years old. How do you become the first person to revolutionize that? <laughs> so Was nobody else looking? <laughs> Sublime's technology will be obvious in retrospect, but the reason why it has never been done like this before is because electricity has never been so abundant nor so cheap. But it's really when you start to see renewable energy becoming abundant and cheap, then it all becomes obvious. The rapid decline in the cost of renewable energy, mainly solar and wind, is why electricity is so cheap and abundant. Leia says that's why there is a golden opportunity to replace old fossil fuel technology. Here in the US, uh, we've got a, about 100 cement plants. They're reaching their natural turnover lifetime, and so we want those cement plants in the coming decades to be built with Sublime's technology because they will avoid those CO2 emissions for decades to come. How much money does it take on the one hand? How much time to climb the learning curve, slide down the cost curve, scale this technology? There is a path for us to reach cost parity. It will take time. And that's part of my job, is trying to push all these things to go faster. So, potential investor, billion dollars, $10 billion. Why invest in Sublime? If you gave me $10 billion, I could give you multiple carbon avoiding megaton plants by 2030. And you're hopeful that you are fast enough to do this? You can do these things if they're important, if they're necessary. There is no better legacy to be had uh, than in cement, where you have got some of the best scientists and engineers in the entire world working as hard as we possibly can uh, to bring this monumental technology into the future. Sold. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you.